I truly think they got the title of this movie wrong. It should be Celine Dion's Love Again. Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon reviewing Love Again. So what is this movie about? Pretty simple premise, actually. You have a girl who's madly in love with the person. However, he passes away or dies. Drunk accident. Two years later, she's still kind of in the rut. However, she realizes, you know what? Let me just text this random phone number that is supposed to be his. But those text messages are going to a work phone from someone else who just got dumped basically on his wedding night or a couple weeks before his wedding. And will love assume, assume, and will there be love again? So, like this film, this is a through in and throughout rom com with absolutely nothing special to it. There's a couple chuckles, there's a couple side characters, there's a couple dilemmas, and what do you know? Love will always ensue. So, that's what you expect from this movie. Expect the New York backdrop, except. Expect pretty characters, expect Celine Dion, expect Celine Dion, expect Celine Dion, expect Celine Dion singing, and expect Celine Dion praise. So let's just talk about the positive of the film. If you just want a chick flick that does that's fluff, that's cotton candy, I love that phrase, cotton candy, it goes to your mouth, and then 30 minutes later, it disappears. This is your type of movie. Script, cotton candy, acting, cotton candy. The backdrop of New York, cotton candy. The side characters, cotton candy. The songs, cotton candy. Everything about this movie is cotton candy. So I'm now just going to get the logistics, logistical, interesting facts of this movie. So apparently this was filmed in 2020. We are now in 2023. Three years it took for this movie to get into theaters. Three freaking years. So I wonder why that was. And apparently Celine Dion never filmed a single scene with her co-stars. I find that hard to believe with there's one scene where they're kind of like on a beanbag or like a chair. If they did that editing, that that was some pretty damn good editing on that part. But what I mean by this is like Celine Dion's Love Again, the very end, there's basically her concert footage. Also at the very end, the actors are singing Celine Dion and having I Love Celine Dion shirts. Like, that has, the, the whole Celine Dion plot point is maybe 20% of the film with her, you know, wanting someone to make a poster. And then he is a music critic, so he has to interview Celine Dion. And he's getting advice from Celine Dion. But she's maybe in the movie for 10, 15 minutes max. So just at the very end where everyone's like, love Celine Dion, love Celine Dion. I'm going to sing every single one of her songs. And not even that, it's even throughout the movie. People in the shower singing Celine Dion. People on a computer singing Celine Dion and her maybe because she's the executive producer of this movie so she had clout to be like yep only songs in this movie are my songs and that is that so it just felt I want to say dirty but just felt so cheap and just cheesy all at the same time of like this is presented by Celine Dion seriously no shit overall definition of a rom-com cotton candy movie it does no harm to anyone no foul to anyone, but after 30 minutes, you're not going to remember a lot of this movie, period, dot. So Love Again will receive a 4.5 out of 5 of futons, which equals at 50%. Let's see what the Critics Union scores gave this one. Critics at 12% with 17 of them. Audience scored 93% with over 100. I'm basically dead center. It's cotton candy. Is it a horrible film? No, but you've seen it so many times. Now I'm just baffled by the Rottens. One and a half out of four. Uh, C minus. Two out of five. Point five out of four. This film, here we go. Slant Magazine. This film is nothing but a chastised promotional tool for Celine Dion. That, that, it's not that Love Again has a script so marvelous that ChatGPT could have replicated it. In fact, we're looking for the exact opposite solution. Love Again is a rom-com so uncharmingly that the film's dreadfulness can only be distributed to human error. A series of awkward gestures meant to comprise a movie. So people are absolutely dogging this movie. I can't dog it because there's so many worse movies out there, and I think that's the issue with a lot of these people, is they see only the top-end movies, where I'm already at 
80 plus movies in Mar- May, which that is a little lower than I think where I was last year. But still, I wonder how many these critics have actually seen 80 plus movies in 2023. So you got that 12%. My 50 of the 93 Chase Hawk with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know things. Boopton, Toby, Boopton. Thank you for a great day. Now, okay, we watch this today, tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now. I love every single one of you. And I am gaining about one or two subscribers a day, which I can't complain at all. And that's all because of you for watching this channel. Thank you for everything. And again, love again. I've ever been in love. I want to say once, but I blew it because I was too much of a bitch.